The exhibition Formed and Fired highlights key works by four groundbreaking ceramic artists whose practice is very much grounded in tradition and grounded in the past, but whose work really speaks to contemporary issues, contemporary ideas, and interrogates these questions of the body and identity and materiality and value. The works on view in this exhibition are by Simone Lee, Brie Rouet, Kathy Butterly, and Khalil Robert Irving. When people are able to come visit the museum, the gallery is on the first floor, right in view. So I'm hoping visitors will come and go through the gallery, walk around the work, contemplate what they see, look very closely, think about some of the issues that are raised, and take that with them as they continue to walk throughout our permanent collection. There's an innate uh, physicality in the works of Brie Rouet and Kathy Butterly. Brie Rouet presents large-scale, in a way, monumental objects that are mounted on the wall. And I think it's important to understand how Brie sort of builds these works. They're largely made on the floor with the equivalent of my body weight in clay. So I typically use around 130 pounds of clay and work in a very quick, gestural, movement-driven, performative approach. I have also been very receptive to the material's ability to record process and gesture. So a lot of the pieces too, I'm tearing them into sections and you can see the tear line, you can see that physical gesture, and that's really important to me in the work. All of the gestures that go into making it are legible, and that's Clay's real gift to us, I think, is to reveal this history of movement. The sort of innate physicality within Brie Rouet's work is seen in a similar but different way in the work of Kathy Butterly. Kathy Butterly's works are small, they're intimate, they appear fragile. As small as they are, they feel very bold, they feel very forceful, they feel very strong and proud. Khalil is asking us to refocus our gaze on American history and to the way in which social issues are perpetrated continually today and to give us a greater sense of an awareness of our body in relation to the past so that the future can be a better one for everybody. I'm thinking about how objects and actions relate to each other and how 16th and 17th and 18th and 19th and 20th century acts of violence relate to violences that are occurring today. And in ceramic, the possibility of memorializing and kind of working through that information is really possible. But there's another part of the work that is very important that relates to photography and the news and media and how when you use social media and the news and television, it's very moving. It's moving in time, it's moving in space, it's moving on your screen. Using ceramic for me is a way to render that movement still. And so my sculptures are aimed to make photography and digital media to slow down. The work of Simone Lee also addresses issues of race and gender. As a black woman, she talks about making work for a black audience. She's also highlighting black femininity. Her work really shows black women in a proud and powerful position. Showing BIPOC artists is really helpful in contextualizing our own collection, which is not very diverse, and gives us an opportunity to have conversations around race, gender, identity, materiality, social justice, and contemporary issues.